you have to um, think different in order to beat teams with uh, much bigger budgets. And that's the position Brentford is in. We, we can't win by outspending the, the competition, so we, we have to outthink them. We have to have a culture where we have the courage to go down new paths, take some risk, which involves failing. But hopefully, we'll be courageous enough to do the right things uh, over time and eventually that will get us into the Premier League. We stand by it that we believe that analytics have a role to play in football and it will have a bigger role to play in football in the future. But it doesn't mean that we dismiss the traditional methods. Going out, watching a game, all the traditional coaching scouting methods are crucially important still in Brentford. Uh, it's just about finding the right balance. Another example of where Brentford is trying to be different and which involves a risk is uh, our decision about changing the structure of the academy. So we felt that we couldn't really compete if we were just doing the same thing as uh, every other academy in London. We had to rethink the setup completely. So when we go to players in England and overseas, we have something to offer them that is quite unique. It's not gonna be a massive success from day one, but it's something that over the next few years we will build upon. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that we, will, we will see uh, a lot of players in the future coming from the B team into the first team. We finished on a high last season with a really, really good run. And I think uh, that kind of sets the tone for, for how we want to continue moving into to next season. And, and, and really that makes me quite optimistic. I feel we are in a much, much better position now than we were a year ago. We have a really good group of players. We have a good dressing room. We have a really good group of staff and we have a very clearly defined strategy. And I think that's some of the ingredients that will make Brentford successful. But obviously, uh, the competition is tough. We are up against teams that have a um, much smaller budget than, than we have. But uh, I also find that that's the exciting thing. It's, it's, it's exciting to be the underdog. It's exciting to have to try and uh, rethink things and do things different in order to have a chance to win. And I think that's very much becoming the DNA of Brentford.